Hey guys, John here for an exciting tutorial. Um, we're going to be looking at the play-by-play -play action of me editing the muzzle flash here. Alright, let's see, let's take a look at something. Stop it. Look at that face. That's a serious action face. I actually don't know if we should mess with this footage. Anyway, let's go to where the first shot takes place and duplicate duplicate it. And we'll, let's see what I did here. I I animated I drew a mask around the uh the top of the gun here. And this is uh, probably the most exciting part of the tutorial. It's all downhill from here. Look at it. My god. I am probably the world's slowest animator. I'm also very cheap so I have to animate everything. Anyways, I, I just uh, brought it back some. And let's see what I did. I, it's like I dropped a Gaussian blur on top of it to blend it in. And this is where I decided what I was going to do next. And I, what did I do? I duplicated the footage. Okay. And I was trying to get a blank. Uh, I'm trying to get a just a blank copy of the tree and just uh, I brought down the transparency to line it up some and I see so just slid it into place and I brought the transparency back up duplicated the footage again and placed it on top of that background and I drew a mask right here um, I'm just trying to make this part of the gun look like it's the barrel I forgot where I learned this technique from but uh, this is for cheap bastards like myself And I think I just feathered it out some and just blur everything out. If something doesn't look right, just blur it. That's the secret. Alright, and just drop a muzzle flash on top of your footage and slide it into place and rotate it like so and why am I talking like this I don't know and place it um, a little bit on top of the barrel to uh, hide some to hide some uh, yes to hide some uh, I don't know what I'm saying and just to uh, blur it out as usual and what I like to do is add glow on top of the muzzle flashes you don't have to but I like to because it's so fun and apparently I'm getting tired and let's see what am I doing here Okay, so I guess what I did is just drop the smoke charge on top of the footage and sped it up some. And I like to start the smoke charges like after it's already begun. And I just like to feather the edges out so it doesn't look crappy. 
but if you like stuff to look crappy, you don't have to. And I just, like I said, just feather it out. And it looks perfect. All right, let's slide it into place. And actually it looks terrible. So just bring down the opacity a lot. Bring it down to at least 40 something. And create a keyframe and go a few frames and drop it down to zero. Alright, and let's take a look at it. Looks great. And I'm just gonna track the footage here. And I take that back earlier. Actually this is the most exciting part of the tutorial. Watch this. Whoa my god. Jesus. Okay. Now all the fun's over with and create a null object and edit target the null object and mash apply and hit ok alright and then just parent the smoke charge and the muzzle flash to the no object and let's take a look at it And there you have it, the most realistic muzzle flash in the whole world. Um, besides actual real muzzle flashes. Alright, thank you for watching and subscribe if you liked it. And I'm going to try to do some more of these tutorials in the future. Um, we shot a film the other day and it did not go too well got kicked off of the property um, somebody cut his hand open and there was a nuclear explosion and we all had to run for it and uh, yeah so here I am creating a tutorial in this cave and like we're trying to keep warm and I'm just going on and on and subscribe.